Hello and welcome! This is Corm with another Linux Experiences on Deck Edition video. We are going to have a look at Fall Guys again, especially at the Steam version, because when the last video was published, there was an update and I was experiencing some crashes on my desktop. And I also realized after my sister following the guide that if you have not connected your Epic Games account with your Steam account yet, and now the overlay not working anymore, you won't be able to play. So I will show you once more from the start how to get the Steam version of Fall Guys run on the deck with all steps. Because I also forgot to mention that the easy anti-cheat runtime has to be installed. I expected that was installed with the game, but it's not. If you have any other game that is configured for the easy anti-cheat runtime, it will be installed. For example, Apex Legends. But as Fall Guys is marked as unsupported and it says it's not configured for anti-cheat yet, it is not automatically installed. So we are going through all the steps again and I will show you what you have to do. I have now cleared all the install files because last time when I said this is a clean install, I reinstalled it, but it does not remove files that you have modified, especially not the sim link. So we are going through all the steps once more. And the first step, as we have to do adjustments on the desktop anyways, we are going to switch to the desktop right in the beginning. We could install all guys, of course, here from the deck UI but it can also be installed from the desktop. So we click on Steam, library, search for Fall Guys. And hit install. After the installation is finished, I will start it really quick because I want to show you at each step what is missing. So if you encounter one of these errors, you can see what you have to do to fix it. So we are going to hit start. And wait for all the installation steps to finish. The easy anti-cheat initialization will be running, but this won't work and it shouldn't even show because when we change the fallguys underscore game.ini file, it will use a different executable and this will then not even show up because this is related to the EOS version of the anti-cheat. And uh, here we just have to close it again. We can hit stop, for example, and exit game. And then we change the INI file first. So for example, we go to the Fall Guys entry to properties. And don't confuse this. I have Fall Guys here installed through Heroic as well. This is the version which doesn't have an icon, but I am referring here to the Steam version, which does have an icon. We go to local files and then browse files. And here we have the Fall Guys client game exe, which we right click by tapping the left trackpad, go to rename. And this is selected already. So we go with the tapping the left trackpad again, copy, click onto an empty space, click on Fall Guys underscore client.ini. This will open an editor. And here we are going to exchange the Fall Guys EAC launcher with what we have in our clipboard. Click on save and we can close the editor again. Back to Steam. And starting Fall Guys once more. This still won't work, but we will see that the easy anti-cheat setup won't show anymore. The game is ending again, so we are dropped back to the desktop. We click again onto our file browser, go to Fall Guys Client Game Data, Plugins, x86 underscore 64, right click on an empty space by tapping the left trackpad, create new, link to file or directory, click on the file icon here, select file, use the up arrow once, twice, three times, Go to easy anti-cheat and select the easy anti-cheat underscore x64.so file. Then we 
mark here in the file or directory to link to because we want to have this as a relative path from the fall guys folder we mark everything to the front we open the keyboard by hitting steam and x and we replace this with dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot hit enter close this we right click on the created link show target to make sure that this is linked correctly and it is now so we go back to steam hit play once more the game is now launching we agree to all we hit start and if you haven't connected your steam account with your epic account yet this wouldn't even show but i will show you in a bit what you have to do to connect it so when we hit now play it won't work because it says anti-cheat is not initialized so we quit again and now we have to install the easy anti-cheat runtime so we click here on search we remove the fall guys search from before hit again steam and x to open the keyboard search for ez you can close the keyboard here the proton easy anti-cheat runtime is now listed we click install next finish it is installed already and now we go back all guys Log in. And if you are stuck here at loading, I will show you how to connect your Steam account with the Epic account in a bit. I have done this already so I can play directly and this does not affect the heroic version of the install. So the previous video is still valid on that part. And if I hit play now, it is starting. I will go back here though to show you now how to connect your Steam account with the Epic account because the overlay is not showing anymore. So you cannot invite your friends really, but you can host a lobby and share the login code. To connect this, to make this work at all, you open the browser and you go to the Epic store, epicgames.com. And when you are logged in, then you go to your account and down here under connections you go again to accounts and here probably your steam account is not connected yet so if you connect this here you have to log in to steam through the browser and when that is connected fall guys will run without issues so let's try this once more from the gaming mode so in gaming mode, we can start Fall Guys now. Connecting your Epic Games account and your Steam account is also necessary if you are using Proton Glorious Egg Roll. And the game does run perfectly with 60 FPS, even though last time I had it set to 30 FPS, which is of course helping a little bit with battery life. But the game itself is using less than 10 watts mostly so you will have many hours to play at least more than three let's see if we can qualify this is just a test there will be a little hiccup happening and i think this is the failing attempt to connect to the overlay but that is only happening in the first one minute and after that it's not happening anymore. And this procedure is also needed for the desktop, even though on desktop it seems that you also have now to disable eSync. And there is a Proton command line flag, a launch parameter that you can use, which is called Proton underscore no esync and if you set that to one 
the game seems to be way more stable. Plotron Glorious Eggfold version is taking care of that. So you don't have to do that manually. This one is pretty tricky. Okay, we qualified. Okay, I just wanted to show that this is now working with all the steps that are needed to make this working. And if you are stuck at one of those steps where it shows you the anti-cheat initialization or it's stuck at loading or it says um, anti-cheat runtime is not initialized, you know now at which part you have to fix something and I hope this tutorial helps you a little bit more than the previous one. If you are using the Steam version, if you're using the Epic Game Store version with Heroic, the other video is still valid. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. See you on the next one. Have a good one and bye bye.